important for us to know how old the scar is? Well, research says that um, scars can heal very quickly if they're addressed properly. But of course, people have scars for decades and are not aware of the impact they're having. But uh, they've certainly had an impact over their life. And over that impact, then adaptation has had to take place. And of course, certain movement habits have then been created and formed. So it's good to know when they got it, how they got it, and what it what it's um, what it's impeded them doing in the meantime. But ideally, uh, what we want to do is make sure that they're aware of the influence of it, because most people are not aware that having a scar is an issue, because mm -hmm. it looks all nice and neat on the outside. But we can show now because the technology is there to help us. And as you know, we do cadaver studies, and we can go in and see the the the, the way the tissue has manifested itself to create the scar <laughs> tissue beneath. And we can see what happens in the adaptation of the tissue beneath the skin surface. And it's almost like a shipwreck. Under a cellular microscope, it looks like a shipwreck and all the fibers don't orientate themselves beautifully in healing processes. They actually go in literally omnidirections and at different depths. And it's just like the roots of a tree where you think everything is beneath you and right at the isolated position. It actually doesn't, it just branches out. And it, because of the, the makeup of the fibrous network, those pulling sensations go distally and radially outwards. And uh, that's why it's important to understand how they came by it and how long they've had it. And so we can anticipate and you know, uh, help as best we can to recognize what they've done to adapt and how we can then uh, try to follow that adaptation to try and make them move more efficiently so that the scar doesn't impede their movement.